Then I went again. Well, he said the you know, spiritual dimension. Of the man is Shagam was talking about. How precious somehow. I'm important in the world. He said, I'm a family. Everyone else was a star. Rabbi Shabsi Alpern is the head shliach in Brazil, where he was sent by the Rebbe in 1961. In those days, when somebody went on shlichas, there weren't many people. We were mamish from the first couples. But when this came about, there was a, a very interesting ritual. The couple would go to 770 on the way to the airport, get out of the car, and the bochrim, friends of the shliach, would come, who were still in 770, learning, not married yet, would come out. There was no koilo then. And they would dance with the shliach. And the Rebbe would open the Venetian blind of one of his windows halfway. We arrived on Sunday. Uh, Gimel Menachemov, Tovshin Chofalev, there and in 770. And the Rebbe did not open the Venetian blind. And my mother said, you see, I told you not to go. And other people probably thought about it. So some people said, go back home, ride into the Rebbe, we'll go another time. I said, no. The Rebbe knows we're going. We had two Yechidas before the, this trip. We're going. By the way, before I continue, on Shabbos, the day before, the Rebbe spoke a mimer. It's printed in the Sefer Mamorim. Tov Shinchov Aleph, Beis Menachemov, and the last piece of the mimer has no connection with the mimer, and nobody really understood for years what this connection, what, what this piece was doing there. And uh, not, not long ago, a few years ago, um, one of the people who works on the Rebbe's uh, mimerim was in Brazil, and I told him that I left that Sunday. He says, oh, now we know what it is. Because the last piece of that mimer says, suddenly the Rebbe says, and the main thing in Shlichus is to go away as far farther as possible. And those who go away very far, that's the Kavona. And but this has no connection whatsoever to the mimer. That, that's why the mimer finishes. And they never knew what it meant and why. That was the Rebbe's goodbye in public. So going back to that Sunday, the Rebbe didn't come out. I said, no, we're going to the airport. In those days, there were no direct flights to Brazil. You would take one flight to Venezuela, to Caracas, sleep overnight, and take another flight to Brazil. The company which took us to Caracas was Sabena. It still exists, a Belgium airline. We got on the plane, and we're sitting there. And the plane doesn't take off. Took off. After a long time, the pilot says, one of the engines has burnt out, and since we're not an American company, we have to have a new engine who has to come from Brussels. So everybody has to go home and come back Tuesday evening. So we went back to Crown Heights. We had no place to sleep. And Tuesday, the Rebbe picked up the Venetian blind. <laughs> 